welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name's Jay Flo, and we are going to continue talking about our super resin UV crystal exclusive here at Ben Franklin Crafts in Mapuna Puna. This product is straight from Japan and it is awesome. It is by far the best crystal resin that I've worked with, and I've worked with several. Um, the great things about it, it has a really clear gloss shiny coat like glass and it's one part which is amazing we'll talk about that more here in just a minute okay so a few items that you will need to get started is one this work surface which is a silicone mat we have the silicone mat in several different sizes it comes in this size right here which is about a five by five and then also a smaller package that has two different sizes in it that's really easy to work with some of the kits that we carry. You always want to work with this surface because one, it keeps your table clean. Two, when you put the resin on here and then put it inside the lamp, <clears throat> once the resin hardens on here, it's easy just to peel off. So it keeps the mat your work table very clean. So very important you have this silicone piece. Next I'm gonna show you one of the kits that we have and we're going to create this key charm today. And this key charm comes with two different powders, some little sparkles, glitters, and also here you'll see some tiny little pieces and these are you've, um, film, clear film. And when we do the different layers of the key, we'll insert the film and it's just a really unique background that you can get in there with layers. Okay. All right, so we will get started. First of all, you're going to take the super resin UV crystal. Again, this is a one part resin and we are going to pour just enough in to cover the bottom. Now you never wanna shake the bottle because it would create bubbles. So you don't wanna do that. So I'm again just pouring a small amount to cover the bottom. I'm gonna pour in a little bit and then I'm gonna push it around with my toothpick doesn't take a lot we just want to get a nice little layer in there and you don't want to use a lot of whipping motions because you don't want to create bubbles bubbles are easy to get rid of you can just take a toothpick or a pen and pop them all right now if we were to fill this entire mold up with the resin at one time it's, it will take a long time for it to dry. So we're just doing a little bit in layers at a time. Okay, so I have a nice thin layer there at the bottom on my silicone mat, and I'll put it inside the UV lamp and let it go for three minutes. Okay, so it is done. Just got finished cooking after three minutes and it is hardened inside there. Now I'm going to put a little color with it. I'm going to pour out two, two little bits of resin because I've got two different colors that I'm gonna add to this. I'm gonna add some powder blue and comes with this kit. You just need a little bit of the powder. And just remember, if you add too much powder, maybe not too much, but if it's a darker color, it's going to take longer to bake in there. So I'm going to do a little bit of blue first. and take it 
and just put a little bit inside. Scoop it out. Again, the darker the color, the longer it takes. And we're just wanting to do these in very thin layers. I'm gonna come up a little bit with that. And then I'm gonna take some and do it up in here. Looks like I need a little bit more. It's always best to work just a little bit at a time so that you're not wasteful. Pour a little more blue on there. Again, just a little bit is all that you need. Mix. And since this is just a tiny little bit, you see when I'm mixing it, I'm going in kind of one direction, it's not creating a lot of bubbles. So that's good. Again, if it did create bubbles, you could always take a pin and pop them. Okay. The next, I'm going to mix some of the white iridescent powder to add to the other section. So the white iridescent powder also came in my package. Just gotta open that up. Just takes a little bit. There we go. There's a lot more powder in here where you could do more, you could do more projects too. Oh, that white's really nice. Let's talk about the UV resin. The cool thing about the UV resin, again, is it's just one part. And because it's one part, it's really easy. If you've ever worked with a two-part resin, um, if you don't mix the resins perfectly, a lot of times it never dries. Might have the tendency to get yellow. But one reason why I love this crystal UV resin is it is a clear and it won't yellow. It dries within minutes when you use the UV lamp, which is awesome. So you can get your projects done really quickly. The two-part resin, when I've used it, it usually takes at least eight hours to dry. So I really like this one. My projects are completed quickly. All right, so I added we have the blue powder color and the white pearl kind of iridescent color in here. Just is neat. Um, adds a little bit of interest, not just using one color. So again, we stick our entire silicone mat in there and we will bake that for three minutes. All right, so just finished three minutes with the color and it is, it's hard. Awesome. So next I'm going to now take the resin and finish filling it. I, it might be like not even an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna fill it to the top now. can push my toothpick around to make sure I get in all the spots on it. Hope you can pick that up on the camera and see that. Again, make sure that there are no um, bubbles. You want to pop those before it goes into the lamp. Okay, next three minutes again, and we'll return to finish this off and flip it over. Okay, while that is baking in the lamp, I'm going to talk about some of the super design film 
that we carry and they come in they have sheets of lots of different motifs. We have butterflies here. We have Hawaiian theme. We have sea theme. Some Japanese the cherry blossoms. Many, many more. We've got initials. But these are really cool. We're going to end up cutting them out and putting them inside the key. This one, we have clear ones that have wording in there. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. The other things that we have are right here, this little piece um, and pearls. We have these beautiful, I guess, charms that have Swarovski crystals as well as pearls that you can also put in here. They come in bows, butterflies, flowers, and then also we have dried flowers that you could also incorporate within your resin. So many things to choose from that you can put inside. And our lamp is finished after the three minutes. So now what we'll do is actually pop this out. Ta-da! Cool. And I just had a few little stringy parts that I'm just gonna pick off of there. And now we're going to, actually this is gonna be the top part of our surface. And we're gonna work here now. I'm gonna put a little bit of resin again on my silicone mat. Take my toothpick. and add the clear resin little by little on top. And I have cut out some of this clear film. Oh, it's so tiny. I'm using little tweezers. <laughs> we can set in there. And this clear film is transparent. Again, clear film. <laughs> and some of them have little words also. So we'll put that right in there. That one says happiness and add the resin right on top. So you have little words. We have this little flower in here. We're creating a nice little resin bubble on the top. Need a little bit more resin. And we're gonna bake this. It's really cool how you can do all these different layers. Add things. Next, we're gonna add a little pearl inside. Actually, and it's gonna be a little bit raised. There's so many things you can do with it to make it unique and your own. You don't have to follow the exact steps that I did. You could do them in a different order and yours would turn out another one of a kind. But these kits allow you to do that. Okay, and I have a pearl. Little pearl. I'll take these tweezers and I want it to be kind of raised stick in there. All right, and then the resin will allow that to bake in there. And we'll bake it for another three minutes and then we should be almost finished. There we go. I wanna add too that this, these charms are great to add on cards like we said before. You can add them to backpacks, purses, and also planners. Planners are so hot right now. These would be really cute attached to your planner. You could put it on a bow. When you're giving somebody a gift and you have a little bow and you want that extra little something on there, these charms would be so cute.
on there. All right, so now, oh, it's so cool. So now this is complete. And again, we can add this to a backpack. I just see a little string back there. There we go. And if you wanna make this side more smooth, you can add another layer of resin and then bake it again. And this side would become smooth and have that bubble kind of feel as well. So here we are. So many fun things that you can do with these molds. And we also have the molds individually in many shapes you can use for all kinds of crafts. So please come see us at Ben Franklin Crafts in Mapuna Puna for our new line of products from Japan. And one of our favorites is the Super Resin UV Crystal.